Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video it'll be a pretty basic no frills uh, putting away photo card video. As you can see I have my storage of on and off binder here and my little mini collect book here and all I'm going to be doing today is sorting away my CIX photo cards. I did actually take out all of my photo cards from this binder because I thought I was going to put them into an A4 binder. But then I decided against it because I don't have any more A4 photo card pages left. So unfortunately, back into the collect book it is. But at least I have some new photo cards to show you that you've probably seen in my previous unboxing video. And I also have a few on and off photo cards to put away as well. So I hope you enjoy. This hopefully should be a really fast video because there's really not much to say. But we'll see what I can stretch from this. So as you can see here, I have my storage of on and off album. It is It doubles as an A5 binder itself, which I think is really nice. And something that I didn't notice before when I was going through this album is that these, um, these sleeves are actually double-sided. So... Actually... Alright, I lied. It looks like only the top ones are double-sided. For example, let me show this to you. Here is one side of the sleeve, and here is the other. So this one little pocket actually has like a little divider in between. Yep. Which I found pretty interesting, so that means that these down here also have two different pockets. Even though the binder itself, even though the pages are PVC present, I don't really care right now. I'm not in a position to be caring because I don't have the sleeves that actually fit it. And I did do a little mini on and off Wyatt photo card haul recently where I basically got all of his You Complete Me and on and off photo cards. I am missing one, so I think I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to be buying it. Honestly. I really like these photo cards. I think they're so pretty. I love the color. Just like, just look at these. Just look at them all laid out like this. Like, how pretty is that? I know a lot of people are not fans of concept cards, and I admit I'm not a fan of concept cards either. But I can turn a blind eye when they're especially gorgeous like this. I love the use of color. I love how bright it is. I love the contrast between the blue and the pink and the reds. So there's really nothing for me to actually dislike about these. I am missing one. I'm not sure which one I'm missing yet because I actually don't look at templates. I'm not interested in collecting on and off as of this point in time and it looks like there's not a big collecting community because most of them have been in the army. So as of right now, there's really not much for me to do. I'm not going to be back collecting and there aren't a lot of overlaps between my fandoms and on and off for some reason. So not many people are trading between groups for these. But here are the photo cards that I pulled out. I do think that I'm going to be attempting to trade some of these away. I know that these three on my left hand are previous era cards and these two cards on the right are actual cards from the actual storage of on and off album. I might trade these away. I haven't decided how lazy I am yet, but I am looking for that one last Wyatt card. I'm not sure if it's a You Complete Me or an on and off card. Like I mentioned, haven't been checking templates. But I do want to keep this JS card. I think he looks really cute here. As soon as this focuses. So I am keeping that card. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to trade these two away. I don't have a lot of hopes for it, so I think I'm just going to put it into my two trade uh, little pile and then hope for the best. It's also going to be the holiday season soon here in the US, so I think a lot of trading and selling is going to slow down for a bit, but I'm not sure. Most of the time, I do, most of, honestly, most of the time I lose mail. I lose mail during like the regular months, like the last time I didn't receive something. I purchased from a friend who lived probably only six hours away from me by drive, or I, I traded with, and that never got to me even though my side of the trade got to her, 
in like two days. So we just don't know. And here is my little Sung Hoon collection. And I am very proud to say that this is actually my first completed album photo card collection. I s okay, you know what? I'll take that back. It's not actually my first completed one because I am still missing one card. And in case you don't follow CIX, that one card is actually a first press photo card. I will get to the album that it's from soon, that is from OK Not, which is their recent album with a title track 458. So I don't have the first press of that, and they say that there's 10,000 on the, um, on like the preview, on the preview for the album and its contents. So I'm actually not sure if the 10,000 refers to 10,000 of each member, so 10,000 cards out there per member, or if it's 10,000 total for the five members, which implies that there are 2,000 per member. And I was actually talking to a friend about this because we're interested in collecting pre-order benefits. It really doesn't make sense for pre-order benefits to be as cheap as they are. Because when you think about it, the pre-order benefits are also like a first press, one-time run. You know, you miss it, you lose it type of item, type of deal. Because you can't buy them again afterwards. Unless you get them from a reseller. But because you apply the whole first print knowledge to them... How many people are actually going to be buying those albums in that three-day time period? If you actually look at the charts and if you follow the charts for things like fan signs or just album sales in general, you see that per fan sign, depending on the group, and I think for CIX, per fan sign, they only sell maybe like 4,000 more albums. Or let's just, let's just round it up to five for the sake of math. So let's just say they sell an extra 5,000 albums per fan sign. That means that there are probably still only around a thousand cards per member out there for that fan sign, for that fan sign pre-order benefit as well. So in that case, I think pre-order benefits generally should be a lot more expensive than the ten to fifteen dollars that we usually see them for. I know people make the argument of, oh, you know, the pre-order benefit is technically free, therefore you shouldn't be charging that much extra for it because it's a free item that came along with the album. But everyone who collects knows that the value is in the pre-order benefit because it's rarer and because it's not something that you can buy directly from the supplier after the pre-order period ends. So I personally think that pre-order benefits are cheap for what they are. And I know that's kind of uh, contradictory coming, coming from me because I don't buy pre-order benefits. I try to avoid buying photo cards as much as I can because I have so many. So I try to be really creative when it comes to trading. But there's something here. But yeah, pre-order benefits are... How did these get in here? But yes, pre-order benefits are cheap for what they are. Make Star and K-Town For You pre-order benefits are always going to depreciate super fast. Same with My Music Taste because that's usually the first round and that's when everyone buys their albums as well from their group order manager. But then you start get to you start to get to things like Moket Shop, Join, Mihodong, Everline, Wonderwall, and that's usually when things start to go up in price because less people are buying the albums. Less casual fans are buying the albums at least. So in that vein, maybe I will collect the first press edition pre-order benefit from OK Not. Which is this, these album photo cards. I do have the full set because I pulled them, or I didn't pull them, my group order manager pulled them for me. But it's expensive, and until then, I will focus on putting away these pre-order benefits. So I know I didn't previously mention that I don't like to collect pre-order benefits for CIX. I'm not too interested in them for the most part. But my friend was running a geo for these, and these are really cute. So I thought to myself, why not? Like, really, honestly, what's the harm? She ran a Mercari Geo, so these were, I think these were like $5 each on average. And that's cheaper than an album photo card. And this is a concert slash tour photo card from CIX when they came to the US and they were doing fan signs. And I will be cursing myself because I will leave this area blank 
because I do want that Sung Hoon pre-order benefit slash first press photo card from OK Not. <sighs> I know that they're like, they're not super expensive. They're really not out of my budget. It's just more, it's a principle of the matter. Like I personally just don't want to spend that much money for a card. They're currently going for, I think, $17? 17 USD, and I know they're only going to get more expensive after the fact, so I'm not a fan of that. But it's okay. I think I might just do it for the sake of having a complete album photo card collection, because that is so rare for me. And these last two are pre-order benefits from MMT, which is where my group order manager ordered them from. And the reason why I chose MMT, even though I know there's no there's not a high resale value for these, is because they were the only group order manager waving EMS and still ordering the albums to them. And I like collecting albums. So, I only have three more pages left in this collect book, but I have virtually a full Sung Hoon collection. And that is everything. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.